Nesson and the Patriot League Network on Stadium present Boston University Basketball. Today, from the roof at the Case Center in Boston, it's the Terriers against the University of New Hampshire Wildcats. Shot clock down to four to three. Mahoney is down too deep. He has to kick it out. And Walter White beats the shot clock buzzer and ties the game. Walter White inside and with the left hand, Walter finishes. He's got five early points. Nate in the game right now. Carbone came from the University of San Diego. As Ethan Britton Watts drills his first career three. Rest. Javante McCoy coming right back into the game. Underneath an answer from Blondo Chukwenyu. His first college points and he's got a chance to make it a three point play. Yeah, a breather there as he comes back in here. Underneath, McCoy again, strong to the rim. Yeah, Javante McCoy now is getting things going by getting high shot, high percentage shots. Maltzby, the Wildcats have a chance to take their first lead since the opening minutes of the game, and they do on the three by Marquis Maltzby. Maltzby was also dinged up in the preseason. McCoy answers with the runner in the lane. Now Javante McCoy has been able to get in the red paint very easily against this Wildcats team. The Terriers are on a run out, three on two, and White glides in for the lefty reverse. It just kind of sat there and rolled off. Harper for three in front of the bench. Well, that was Javante McCoy. We talk about his assist numbers leading the team. Well, how about that pass? Just threading it through with a couple defenders gets that one for three for Jonas Harper. If no one cited it, did it really happen? What are those old <laughs> adages? <laughs> Walter White, oh, hits a big three coming out of the timeout. Freshman playing his first game for New Hampshire, and he's gonna try a three and drill it. And that makes it an 11 point game. He's up to 11. Martinez will try another three. Well, this time with Walter White flying by. He was technically not possession, so that's always where my head is, but that's not the case when you're looking at it. Oh, the Terriers use all of the 20, and McCoy scores again. This is really a breakout game for Javante Wednesday. And for BU, 50 points in the paint. Dominate the paint, dominate the second half. A couple of keys for the Terriers to victory as they win this one, 84 to 70. Second half, you wanted to focus on defense and get a starter run. That was quite the run to start the second half. We had a great run. But they're pretty good off the bounce. We, once they got some momentum in the second half, we had a hard time guarding them one-on-one. -on -one. We looked a little tentative defensively for some reason late in the half, but we did go out, get out to a good run, and we played really good offense tonight. Well, I wanted to ask about that because before the game, you and I talked to, to, with Doug as well about finding ways to score. This was a nice breakout game, especially after Wednesday offensively. Yeah, well, our big three had had a, had, you know, they, they played well early. They gave us a lot of confidence, and then we did a better job of sharing it and then playing through Max. Are you going to take a piece of the wood for the next six games on the road? You're going to remember this place when you guys hit this long road trip. We tend to play on the road here at BU in a non-conference, so this is nothing new. Our guys are kind of used to it. It'll be more the opponents than it will be on the road, so we got some tough games coming up. Joe, we'll see you soon. I'm going to bring in Max Mahoney. You got it. Yeah, talk to him. He's the one that did all the work tonight. <laughs> all right, so that's Joe Jones as the Terriers get the win, bringing in Max Mahoney now. Max, 20-point game for you in a game that you guys dominated the point in the paint. 50 to 28 in the paint must have been a big sign for you guys. Yeah, we knew it was going to be a physical game. We're going to be banging in the paint a lot. Uh, very physical team. They post the ball a lot, too. Uh, we tried to out-tough them in the paint. There was a lot put on the big three. Of course, talking about you, Javante McCoy, and Walter White, right. all three of you shine this afternoon. Right, it's nice to have a well-rounded effort, get some different guys going. I thought we were well-rounded all around. Uh, it's great to see those guys getting the Talk to me about the difference from Wednesday night where it was a game that you can kind of see the you know deflated faces to a game like this where offensively it seems smooth sailing and smiles all around for everybody. Yeah, we knew we had to bounce back. Uh, Vermont was another physical game, so we knew we had another challenge coming up uh, just a few days later. So we uh, you know, got, at it, got, at, got after it and uh, practiced the next two days and uh, came prepared. Well, you'll have a couple more days of practice and then some travel. We'll see you in Columbia. Yes, sir. Thank you.